Fried bologna sandwich. Thick cut ain't thick enough. So I get the the chunk bologna and I cut it myself. I'm just gonna sit it down in that little butter. Let it do its thing. All right, so we're gonna give it a turn and flip it. Like I said, you can see it's a little bit more done uh, where it's not so even, but that won't be a problem. I like how it's looking. All right, let's give it a turn and see what we're working with. Yeah, coming along pretty nice. It's about where I want it. So you can see here, I just got two slices of bread. Now this is my go-to store-bought bread, the Sara Lee Artisano white bread. Uh, I like how it tastes, texture, all that. My family likes it. So we'll go ahead and set that on there. I should have went Texas toast for this beast. We'll make it work. So now what I'm going to do is not so much butter it as let it toast in the drippings here. I want to squish it, but I just want to make sure, like I said, some contact. I don't know if I'm going to go quite as heavy as my press. That's right here, just enough. I uh, don't want to squish my bread. Didn't get no sticking, which is usually a good sign to develop some sort of crust. I spread that grease back around. And, but yeah, there we go. That's what I'm wanting. Nice little crispiness to it. Do the other side, we're about ready to eat this. Whoa, flipped it off, but we're ready. That's how we're wanting it. There you have it. Fried bologna sandwich. Lunchtime classic. All right, so we made it back to the taste test table. We've got our fried bologna sandwich. Nice, thick cut bologna, toasted bread, chips, and dip. You're not going to find a much better lunch than this. So let's cut into it and see what we got. Bread kind of crunched on me still steaming fresh let's give it a try mm. bread's got just enough of a crispiness to it um, the bologna like I said is thick cut there's about only two ways I do bologna thick cut or the shaved bologna and uh, for some reason, I just, I don't know, either way, just seems better to me than the normal way. Got some mayonnaise and mustard on here for a little extra flavor. Easy chair. And it's hitting just right. Let's try it. Chip and dip. Even better. Uh, my only regret about this sandwich is that I'm not making it during the garden tomato season. That's the only thing that could elevate it even more. I'd like to send a shout out to Dick. Dick is the biggest fried bologna sandwich lover that I know. And uh, so I want to do is cook to honor him. And also my other friend, Crystal. It was the second biggest fried bologna sandwich lover I know. Uh, glad y'all took the time to stop by and watch me cook a little lunch. Or whenever you're watching it, that's lunchtime for me. But as always, I appreciate you taking time to stop by. If you saw something that intrigued you or interested you, I hope you'd please consider taking time to like, comment, subscribe, share, 
Turn on post notifications so you know when new content is added to the channel. Till next time, this is Garrett the Griddler saying, let's keep cooking. This right here is the worker's lunch.